Today's video is brought to you by Big J's Fart Spray. The logger's choice. Hello folks, Logger John here and it's uh, November the 5th. Saturday, November the 5th. I'm just inside my tractor shed here and as you can see by my headgear that I'm heading off to the bush to cut some ash. Just down here in the little woods there's a bunch of ash. They're not very big. Uh, there's a few kind of big ones, but uh, we're going to try to get some of that out today. It's around 8 o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm in my tractor shed, my tractor's outside, over here, ready to go. It's a little bit windy, so I'm trying to stay out of the wind. So I hope the video turns out. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be uh, 23 Celsius today. On November the 5th. I know it's crazy. It's been really really nice uh, here the last couple weeks. So uh, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to get really windy tonight so we'll see how that goes. So okay join me. Meet me down in the woods guys and uh, we'll get cutting some ash. It's starting to die down there so I gotta get some of it out and uh, Okay, stay tuned guys. Okay folks, I'm down here. Sun's coming up, it's gonna be a nice day. My house is just up there. My driveway is just out there. So we have some ash here. There's some ash down right here on this ridge. Only problem is it's really hard to get it out of here. Hard to reach it. I think I can back up through here, like up maybe through here. There's a lot of rocks and stuff in there. And I'll try to, there's some, there's two or three there, four, and try to bring them up here if I can. Like I said before, they're not very big, but we have some on the outside of the fence over there too. And there's one down there, and there's a couple little ones up there where the tractor's parked. I caught quite a few in here the last few years. Uh, there's one or two over there by the bunkie. And then of course there's some out in the field there, some bigger ones that I'll see how it goes. If I'm going to get those today or not. Start with getting these out of here. Okay guys, stay tuned while I get things set up here. Okay guys, I'm down here. Tractor's up there. There's a path through here. I got a trail that comes down from the bunkie. All the way through here. There's a gate right here. Goes out to the field here where I have my... There's a small field where I have a bunch of pine trees planted. Out through there and some spruce. And the trail goes up through there. Just can't get down here with the tractor. All rocks and even the trail, you could kind of get down here maybe, but it's not very wide. Anyways, we have some ash right here. We got two. Well, this one here is leaning back. I might try to pull it over up the hill. And then we have some here. We have one here. And then there's one here. Of course, the one leaning on, well, it's on the other side of the fence. And then you got this poor black cherry here. Look at this beautiful black cherry. Still alive, but look at, look at these guys. Whoops. Yeah, not very good for the tree. Okay guys, I'll set you guys up and see what I can do here.
Oh boy. Well, folks, it's not starting out too good here. Kind of got this one on the ground finally, but it was caught up in this ash. Now that ash is caught up in that little alum. <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to have to cut that little alum down anyway. It's going to die, but... Okay guys, stay tuned here while I figure this out. I don't know if it's Monday morning or what, but it's Saturday, but <laughs> feels like Monday morning. Ah. Stubborn trees. Oh, well, they're on the ground. I'm going to limb them up. Had to cut that little alum, but I'll bring it out for firewood too. Hate to cut live alums when there's so many dying. It's not very big anyway. Probably would have died anyway in another year. So oh, there's a bunch of alums in here actually. They're still alive, but and we got, of course, we're fighting buckthorn here. <laughs> okay, and then I got this one here. Might be able to put it, put it over in there, I guess. Okay folks, I got those uh, I got those trees limbed up. Try to hook onto the top of them there. Unfortunately, I, I'd rather hook onto the butt of them, but I got this one, I got a pull up there. This is where a winch would come in handy, but I don't have one, so I got a long rope. I can pull that one up to the top of there. I got this tree here. I got a notch in it already. It's leaning back onto the fence. I'm going to put a rope around it or try to and hook onto it and pull it up the hill. Okay, folks, I got the rope hooked onto the tractor up there. I don't know if this is going to work or not. If it doesn't work, my uh, next video will be from the hospital, but I think it will. I don't really have it hooked very high. I probably should have went up and got a ladder, hooked it up higher, but I hear another chainsaw running down there. My neighbor's cutting us up some wood. So we'll see how this goes. Okay guys, stay tuned. Okay guys, I cut it as far as I thought I should. Now I'm gonna see if I can move it here with the tractor, I don't know. It's so hard working in here because there's so many rocks and stuff tripping over it and it's really hard going. We'll see how it goes. See if I can... I'll set you guys up over here, I guess. Where you're safe. The tree won't fall on you. <laughs> okay. 
There goes nothing. Kind of on the ground. Kind of got hung up in this little tree here, but that's no problem. Yeah, it worked. I didn't know if I it would pull it or not. Well, I had no, I had no doubt it would pull it, but I didn't think I was high enough on the tree. It's obviously better when you have the rope higher. Okay, get the rope off and clean it up and then I'll bring these three or four out if I can. Okay guys, stay tuned while I fix this up here. Okay guys, I got these all ready to go. Just got to hook onto these three and pull them up out of here. And then there's one there to get and then that little alum. But then there's another ash over there to cut. It's kind of leaning the wrong way. I might have to put a rope on it too. Okay guys, stay tuned while I get this out of here. Okay guys, got those three out there, pretty long, <laughs> and I come back and get those out, and I got two small ones there, a little easier to get out, and then there's one over, there's a few more down there anyway, so stay tuned guys. Okay guys, I got those three trees out, now I'm back to get this other one out of here. gonna give it a pull up, up here where it's a little level and then I got that ash down there to cut and then I got this little alum I'll get out of here too I guess okay guys stay tuned Okay guys, okay, I'm going to go down there and look at that one. Okay guys, stay tuned. Okay folks, <laughs> I think the wind was taking it back and forth there. It was leaning really hard on the fence, but a little bit of patience and I got it to go. Unfortunately, there was a nice little hickory tree in there that I didn't want to hit, but I think it pretty much fell right on it. So. 
Okay guys, I'm going to get that limbed up and pulled up there to the other one. Okay folks, I got this one limbed up. I'm going to pull it out. You can see how hard it is to walk in here. There's all rocks and crevices. Look at this. You don't want to fall in there. I got two more little ones. Well, one right here and one right there to cut. Okay, get out of here. This shouldn't be too hard, but just gotta watch where you walk. There's also a lot of old, well, an odd bottle pokes itself up through here. I just got rid of one over there that was broken. When I moved in here 25 years ago, I probably drew like 30 loads of junk out of this woods. Broken bottles, glass, cans, you name it. I got most of it, but every once in a while a bottle will pop up through. You gotta be careful. I don't know if there wasn't any junk or garbage dumps years ago, but if there was, they never went to them. They just threw everything down here in the woods. But, got it cleaned up. Okay guys, stay tuned. Got that up. I'm gonna cut a few limbs off it here and that one. I'm just gonna throw them over there in a pile. I'll get them later. I'll come down and use them for the campfire. It's just too hard pulling it with all these. It'd be different if I could pull it from the top, the bottom, but okay folks, stay tuned here while I get these out. Wind's picking up, by the way. <laughs> Supposed to be uh, tonight, maybe uh, anywhere from 70 to 80 kilometer an hour gusts of wind, so hope not. <laughs> 